It's a little trick I learned in law school, along with how to tell time on the analog clock, and if it's raining. It's not that funny, you know. Oh, I'm just tipsy. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, you're wearing your ring. Oh, you noticed. Yeah, well, I just figured, you know, as long as we're trying, may as well. Looks good. Still fit? Uh, it's a little loose. I lost some weight. I, mean, I can get it resized for you if you like. No, that's okay. It really wouldn't be in any trouble. What's the point? I just mean... We don't know what the future holds, right? Right. Can't we just be content with tonight? Of course. So how did you find this place? I, uh, I did some work for the owner. I didn't know you did pro bono work. Yeah. Here and there, if the case is right. Oh, and why was this case right? It was a nice spot. I told him I need to romance someone. So, do you still talk to her? Who are you referring to? You know. I don't... Not out of my way, no, but... I still see around the office. Mm -hmm. I purposely avoid her. That's good. It's hi and good day. That's all. <laughs> That's all it takes, isn't it? Hi, hello, lunch, dinner, nightcap, and then she stays over. I told you, she never stayed over. Never got that far. Because you were caught. It's over, all right? Whatever it was, is done. Something like that is never over. It just picks up where it left off. Well, why can't we seem to do that? Pick up where we left off. I don't know. It just it seems like I couldn't give you kids, so you started dating She her. was a college student. Practically graduated. Don't. Don't defend yourself. You're not on trial, okay? I just think maybe I see it clearly now. Now do you see it? I'm useless to you. I mean, you always said you wanted a family, and I can't give you that. It wasn't your fault. Someone took that from you. But I let you marry me, even though I knew. Even before we found out, I knew. I could feel the damage inside. Naomi, tell me what I gotta do to convince you you're enough. Whatever it is after everything, I don't think I'll ever believe that. I need to use the restroom. Or a drink? Huh? Um, no. No, thank you. I've got to talk to you. Excuse me? <laughs> i got to know what kind of man you are. <laughs> Couldn't tell you, really. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's fucking it. No one can. People need to see this shit. What's this? That is how I find out what kind of man you are. <laughs> how I like it? <laughs> no, no, no. Much stronger and much more effective. Effective for what? <laughs> That's the good part. <laughs> okay? Your fettuccine or whatever the fuck, I spiked it. <laughs> I poisoned it. You're gonna feel this burning, and then you're just gonna fucking die. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not following. You put something in my food. Yeah. Our food. Yeah. Intentionally? Yeah. Should I be laughing? I'm not sure why you'd think it's funny. I mean, is this a prank or a joke? Because it's not funny. <laughs> what do you think's taking her so long in there? I, I don't understand. Why? Why would you do this? After I helped you! How original. <laughs> My intention shouldn't be what you're asking yourself. It should be um, about the antidote. <laughs> and how there's only enough for one of you. I can't believe this is happening. You say all this romantic bullshit and this is your chance to prove it. <laughs> now 
Now I must tell you, uh, if you warn her or tell her anything, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere, there's nowhere to run. <laughs> I thought of everything. <laughs> now don't fuck this up. <laughs> Have a good evening. Huh. Uh, just a little uh, toasty is all. Um, how about you? you? You okay? I think I drank a little too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you alright? No, uh, I'm not. And I don't think I ever will be. Because I know you don't trust me, and I don't blame you after what I've done. Maybe it's because of what I do, but I always try to sell you the best version of the truth instead of just being honest with you. So, here is the purest version of the truth I know. When I first met you, I was trying to sleep with your best friend, the one in the sorority. Our first date was about me getting closer to her. I fell in love with you, and, and I'm glad about that. I hate your sisters. Both of them. I watched porn on wedding day. <laughs> uh, I was nervous and it helped calm me down. And honestly, I thought it'd be the last time I ever see that type of stuff again. Uh, I don't think you are the most beautiful woman in the world, but you are beautiful. And you are the only beauty I care about. When we found out we couldn't have kids, I was angry with you. I was angry with the man that took that from you. I was angry at God. I didn't sleep with some intern because she was better than you. I slept with her because I was angry. My life was filled with so many reasons why. She was an escape. Why are you saying that? It hurts and I don't understand. Because I love you. And I say all this to say from my heart of hearts, you're enough for me. You always have been. And you always will be. I mean, if you decide never to forgive me and to never wear that ring again, I'm going to have to live with that. At least... I know. I told you the whole truth. Wait. Wait. My ring fits just fine. <sighs> My kind of nightcap. Oh, uh, I'm not sure you can handle anymore. <sighs> Tell me about it. <laughs> you know, I know I made a big show of moving out and saying I never wanted to see you again, but the truth is, I don't want to live without you. I know. To us. To us. 